Hey everybody, welcome back to Infiltration. It is the December 25th. It is Christmas Day. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and anybody else celebrating the holiday season. Happy holidays, whatever holiday it is you're celebrating. Um, so we have jumped planets. We're at Grant Station and I've made a few changes to the mech. So let's have a quick look at the mech bay. The Hades went through a refit. Uh, we ended up pulling out the uh, Radical Prototype Double Heatsink Kit from one of our other mechs. I can't remember which one it was in. But we were able to get four or five uh, Prototype Double Heatsinks in here. So I was able to change things up a bit. Now before we had two ER uh, medium ER pulses, one on each arm, uh, two clan ER medium lasers, and four um, uh, Bright Bloom? No, not, bright, not the Bright Bloom. Sorry, we had four Magna lasers. That was what it was. Uh, uh, range of uh, 330 for these guys. Was it Magnus? Was there ER Magnus we had? The ER Magnus, I think, range 420. So we switched things up a little bit. I was able to get this in here, get a bit more heat sinking going on. Uh, so we put in an ER PPC in the one arm um, for some heavy hitting damage. We left the two ER medium pulses, left them in this arm here, and then I put in uh, three ER medium lasers. Um, so we have some really good range, 540 meters. So this guy was having a difficulty getting in close in, in combat. So now um, with the range we have at uh, 270 meter, 270 meters being optimal, uh, this medium range um, accuracy bonus will really, really help us out. Uh, so that's really what happened with this guy. That's really the only thing. I put in the extra patchwork materials just so we had some extra weight on him. But uh, yeah, that's all that was going on with this guy. And then we go to... The Hollander, uh, which is here. So I refit this guy slightly as well. Um, we left the ER larges on here, um, and I took the SRM6 out and put in a pair of mag shots. And the reason why I did that uh, because we needed the extra weight because I put in the two arm mounts that we had in what was it now? We had two weapon mounts we had in a mech, uh, the Apollo. That was right, which really aren't being utilized now. So having these. Uh, uh, plus three accuracy uh, for the ER large lasers is really going to help them out at range. So I think the Hollander now is pretty good here and I swapped out the ER medium laser uh, that was here for an ER magnum laser. It does increase the heat slightly so our heat efficiency isn't 100% the best but the mag shots have got a very short range um, so we're not going to be using them all the time so that's 10 heat less so we're going to be pretty balanced here at long range. This guy's really going to just be a long range fighter. Uh, so that's this guy. Uh, the hell spawn remained the same. Nothing changed on this mech. The archer stayed the same. Was it the Apollo I changed slightly? I'm trying to remember remember now. Yeah, that's right. So the Apollo was the one that we had the um, arm mounts on. So I changed that around. To pulled those off. We put the turret mount in here for the medium range missiles. So they'll hit, give them a plus two more accuracy. Uh, so these guys will be hitting a lot more often with the uh, improved uh, missiles giving them a bonus too. This thing will hit uh, hopefully a fair bit more. At 5 damage times 10 I thought it was a better option to go this route rather than just doing the pinpoint mediums. Um, and then we, of course we still have our streak. Now I moved over the Patrick materials, the streak ammo in the case to this side. I had it here before because I didn't really have the C bills to move, move it over but I did this time so moved it over here so that uh, if this, we lose this side uh, no big deal right. Um, of course, I just remember now our, K our ammo is here. What is that going to give us now? Um, if we... Yeah, really? I mean, we could take out one of the jump jets. I mean, we really only need one. Partial wing system. Uh, it's not gonna. We don't have the room dot to fit anyway. Uh, Guardian ECM, 280 core. Yeah, I think we gotta leave that. Oh man, I forgot. That's why I had done this. Let's just. Yeah. Not the best, but we're gonna put it back to where it was. Um, the archer stayed the same and the centurions stayed the same. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think we're ready to go. Let's 
been one day. So we've got a good mission for today. I was hoping to get a three and a half skull mission or a four skull, something that we could try out. But I think we've got one here that we can do that's three. It's going to be uh, nice and challenging. So if we go here to decapitation, it is an assassinate mission. It's against Clan Jade Falcon. Uh, leader of an insurgent cell backed by Clan Jade Falcons moving in the open. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take this one today just to see how well it is. Now most likely we'll be facing three full lances of mechs. Um, so we've got half as many. We're going to go full salvage because so we got the sea bills for it. So let's do this. And we're going to go our standard loadout here. Now I did pick up a couple of extra pilots here um, at the end of last episode. So they're slowly gaining experience. Um, not enough to obviously to get into battle, but we'll let them sit there for a bit and uh, let's deploy and get the sucker done. Alright, here we go. I had to restart the mission. See what we're up against. Because uh, we had um, our centurion stuck on this little hill right here. Uh, the first time we dropped, we didn't have a lance with us, but we do this time, so I don't know if that what that really means. So we've got a our main guy up here, most likely with another lance with him, and he might have a partner. And then we've got one, two more lances over here. So we could be facing up to 16 or 14 mechs here. Maybe 16, but 14 for Reporting. most likely. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it's 14. So we're gonna move ourselves off to this direction to get going. Now I was saying before that um, Hellion has now got her. Um, Gunnery up to 10. And Goofy now has got Warlord, which is awesome. Orders. Nobody else really got anything amazing. Mm -hmm. A couple points here there. God, it's nice to have this uh, Centurion moving fast now. Don't shoot, just run. Oh, so, so much better. Funny thing is, I thought about putting at least one jump jet on every one of our mechs, but... 0.75 tons or half a ton of of uh, jump jet. It's just really not uh, not really um, preferred by me. I hate to waste an extra half a ton on a jump jet if I don't need it. Some people swear by their jump jets, and I, you know I don't mind them, depending on the mech you're using. I think it's they're they can be good things, but uh, having fast ground speed with extra weapons and armor I find is better. Okay, we got a Svantovit with us. As long as they got long range weapons, that's all I care about. Okay, they don't know we're coming. They don't know we're coming. We don't know we're coming. Nobody knows we're coming. We ain't coming, we're going. Yeah, so they've got... Uh, enemy forces, enemy reinforcements, full support lance. Oh, look at that. What the hell is that? I'm taking internal damage. Reporting heavy damage. Reporting heavy damage. Okay. That hurt. Rifleman 3C, 90 tons. Well, I'm listening. Ain't that just fun? Okay, we got some range here. Ooh. I don't think this guy's shot yet. Hmm. Let's not waste our ammo. I know it's weird, but we can't waste our ammo. Not with this many many vehicles and mechs on the board. This may end up being a short battle. Order acknowledged. All right, let's see what our ER largest can do here. Yeah, this guy's moved, so we're gonna fire on him. All right. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a hit, but.
got to get up this hill. If we can push up this hill like we did last time and have the have the high ground, we can just wreck the guys that are their supporting forces. I'm really hoarding, hoping that these reinforcements aren't medium lances. Oh, uh, what do we got here? A Jade Hawk, 75 tons, really. Yes, Commander. Maybe I shouldn't have reloaded. Um. Hmm. What else do they got over here? Aries, okay. Awaiting orders. Hmm. Get up over here. Wow, Street Color Arms, the only thing they can hit, eh? Do I want to waste it on this guy, though? I think so. Yes, it's not really a waste, though, if we can do that. that hits something. Beautiful. That's the thing I like about the streaks. You're guaranteed that every single round is going to hit. Now we got lots of rounds on this guy. Okay. Full speed it is. So let's give this guy. Hmm. Well, I want to waste 60 rounds on this guy. Not that chance to hit, I don't. Not yet. Better not shoot me in the back. So I think this guy might be the protector of our boss. Oh, I don't like this at all. I got a feeling the guy up here, one of the guys is one of those guys that has mortars. Holy shit. Talk about being in over our head. Nova Cats? How is this a three skull? Even if we had two full lances, like all mediums and heavies, how is this the... Oh, we've got to get out of here. We're not surviving this. We got three turns away. That's a Timberwolf. Christ's sake. Alright, we're putting in for a withdrawal after this. What the hell? Arctic Cheetah. So the support list, this supporting Support Lance is like cheap ass shit. I don't know if this guy is the boss or what he is. He might be. Zephyr. Okay, we're gonna put him for a withdraw, but I mean we got three turns to wait, so well what the hell was that thing? Yeah, he's not moving and he's like fuck that I'm gonna stay back here and hide. A night hog? What the hell is this? Come on. Yeah. Come on. 
Show me what she's got. Come on. You can do it. Oh, wait, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, it was there somewhere. Won't give it to me now, though. Okay. Mostly missed you. Come on. Oh, something's moving. Their vehicle. Okay. Oh, way down here. 45 ton gunship, eh? Cool. Okay, the Zora moved back. All right. I have no idea what their supporting lance is like. How far can you get up here? On the move, full speed. Okay, not bad. Taking the shots. Okay, beautiful. All right, um, going to do this right now. Got to wait three turns. I don't care whether it's bad faith or not, man. I don't think this guy moved. Wait, uh, adder. I want him shooting me. Oh, really? Let's save this guy. Fire the rest. Get over here. I understand. Okay. I'm receiving you. Uh chances are your chances to hit are gonna be just as bad as mine were. Let's get back here. Getting closer to getting up there. That rifleman's in a really good spot though. Makes me wish I had fast scam ammo. It's one thing we're really missing right now is that fast scam. Okay, that guy's the guy that's shooting like crazy. What is that? Was that the, uh... That was a hit. Okay, I think that's the, uh... It's gotta be the, um... Yeah, Rifleman. My guess is he's got Rack 10s. Good to go. need to get up as close as possible. 10%, huh? Gotta take it. That should be a knockdown. Gonna get this guy out of our way. Our rifleman's in a really good spot. Let's 
Let's get our stability back. Better chances. We're going to use everything. Uh, let's take the rack to four. And yep. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Beautiful. That should overheat him a little bit, probably. Wow. Good thing you have your back turned to them. Huh. Okay, the adder we might be able to burn through. Not this turn. Hellion was the last one to go. Uh, well, the spent of it's still got to go. Most likely it'll shoot it at the uh, Shadowhawk 2C. It's only 45 tons. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Man, we're going to have to really get up that side. we got to get in close to this rifleman. we got to get up the left-hand side, I think. Get rid of the adder. Get up the left-hand side to get some cover. So he can't get us at range. And then just get right on him and kill him fast from the side. So the goal is... That, we got two turns to get up here, though. But we got to get up this way. If he keeps moving forward, it's going to be a tough play. He's got the height on us, right? So... I mean, as much as I want to, like, hide and have him come forward, that just gives these guys a chance to get closer. If we can get up behind here, it's going to be two turns to get up here. I don't know. If he keeps moving forward, we might be able to take him. But we have to get close. It would be nice if he just dies and then we bail. Kind of glad I took this mission, though. I was hoping for something really tough, but not this tough. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I thought for sure three lances and mediums with a couple of heavies thrown in, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. This is crazy. If these were pirates, maybe it would be a little better, but the fact that it's Jade Falcon is kind of crazy. Well, we'll see how we do here. I mean, best case scenario, we take the head off this rifleman and get out of here. Wouldn't that be a beautiful thing? Come on, Svantavit. Kill that adder. Take him down! There you go. Drop some love on his ass. Only one hit, huh? Must be using an ATM or something. Yellow jacket. Whoa, he's got a rack five. Uh, they are clans though, so I shouldn't be shocked. Okay, the Zora. Probably got a mag shot or something in there. I pinned my armor. He's got two wounds, this guy. Where are you going, buddy? He must have... Did he, must, did he lose the torso? I wonder if I killed his torso. I don't want to waste the hell spawn on this guy, though. Maybe we sprint it. That's a better position. Okay. Let's hammer this guy. Gonna leave the mag shots on. Firing. Damn, I was hoping for a kill. Oh, he bailed. Beautiful. Just as good. He's an infiltrator. We need to get on this rifleman now. Okay. 
okay. We're barely doing anything to this guy. Oh God, he's got three racks, four racks. I don't know if it's four racks or four ultras or maybe a couple of LBXs. I don't know. Good to go. Certainly feels like a lot of racks to me. Ah. Uh. Roger. Full speed. Let's hope we hit. Negative damage. Nope. Ah. Uh. We're just too far away. We got to get up close, which is the scary part with those big guns. Oh, he's moving forward. Okay, chemical fire. Yeah, fuck. I took a hit to my inner. Yeah, I see that. Don't worry, we're leaving in a second. Jesus Christ. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, you think? Yeah, he's got the LBXs as well. Come on, you guys, get over here and shoot him. Okay, he's not that hot. Okay, that's the Arctic Cheetah. Okay, get your stability back. Let's put some of this shit in this guy's face. Well, he's got an AMS. Nice mech, man. All right, well, everything's in range. Uh, let's save the barrage so we know we can hit it with a better chance. Okay. Bit of damage, not much, but a little bit. That sounded ominous. Okay, that's good. So do we have, we got one more round of action after this to see if we can kill this guy. I'm happy to leave though. I don't want, this with these racks, I don't want to lose stuff. I don't have stuff to replace what I already have on these guys. Like if we lose our the rack on the Centurion, that's it. It's gone, right? I don't have another one to replace it with. Then we're back to an LBX-10 or something. Yeah, thanks for coming out. What are we dealing with here? That's the left arm it's hit. Right arm is the rack. I'm on my way. Let's get up here for some stability sake. I know I shouldn't be clumping up, but I got nowhere else to go. Increasing our chance to hit. Gonna leave it up four. I don't want it to jam. Nothing. You are. You're the only one with frig friggin' 10 gunnery and you can't hit. Well, slowly losing our buddies. Nidhog. Here it comes, baby. It's gonna shred that guy. Calculating the number of racks he wants to use. Winding it up. Come on. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, he's got a Goss. Oh, I'm thinking the Yellow Jacket's got the rack. That's right. Finally shooting the person I want you to shoot. Man, I don't know. Okay. Uh, question is, is a suicide? We're not going to kill him. We just don't have the, uh, man, there's just no way we could do that in one round. So let's focus on what we can kill. Everybody stay away from his racks. Focus on what we can kill. Uh, I'd rather have mech parts. Let's go after the Arctic Cheetah. Enemy mech. Critical damage. I don't think we're going to be getting anything out of this anyway. It's a bad faith run. So he can only really move to about here, probably. Which means as long as we get down into cover. Oh, here we'll find out here in a second. Crap. I lost a weapon. Have a seat, buddy. This is the last round that we're out of here. With him down, we just know what we need to do here. Not enough, huh? Scored a critical hit. Come on, bail out. No. Oh, never mind. Blow up instead. Okay, well he burned through his AMS. Unless he has it on overload, which I doubt. Yeah, I don't know, man. Comments section, what do you guys think? Could I have gotten that rifleman? I don't think with what I had, there's any way to do it. Like, we're walking straight into racks. And like I said, we can't wait because look how fast these guys are coming up on us. They be they would be like all over us. That's probably plenty behind the hill. Shoot this guy. Not enough, huh? Wow. I'd love to have known what that first roll was going to be because uh, we didn't have any support units with us. So these guys might have been like a lot, a lot lighter force. 
And it's not like these guys are actually doing anything anyway. Besides standing there and dying. God, there's really nowhere down here to hide. We're out of here in a second anyway, so... Well, let's wind it up. Here it comes. Yeah, you know, if this was later in this, if this was later in the series, and I had, um, and I had uh, backups of stuff I have, I'd probably stick it out to see if I could kill that rifleman. And I most likely would have gone for the gamble to try to shoot him in the side. But uh, I just don't have anything to to replace this stuff with. I mean, pulse lasers and stuff, sure, no problem. But uh, the rack, no. Clan LRMs, no. Like, we'd be busting our asses back to square one. Okay, let's get our stability back. Beautiful. Let's see if we can rain some death on this guy. Beautiful. So Nova over there. God, the salvage would have been beautiful off this mission. Like, could you imagine picking up that 90 ton 2C, a rifleman 2C? That would be crazy. Alright, we just got Duck left to go. All he's going to do is hide. Well, that's really all he can do, unfortunately. Yeah, like even the streaks on that uh, hell spawn, we don't we don't have streak sixes or anything. Like everything would have to be redone. We'd be like taking a major step backwards. That rifleman is like ridiculously well ECM'd and ridiculously well, uh, uh, really ridiculously good at targeting. I'm sure the pilot is like. Amazing. 10 gunnery, 10 piloting. All right, we're almost done here. Oh. Well, we almost burned through his support lance. Unfortunately, these guys would never have made it up there. Ready for orders. There's just no way they could have made it up there. These guys maybe could have got up here, but these guys... Can't jump far enough. Wait, what? Why can't I... There's no... I can't work... the hell? Oh, there it is. That was so bizarre. Okay, I can get behind here. How far back here can I go? All the way back here, eh? Uh... Right side? Doesn't matter, I can't turn enough. Oh. Like if I get into... Here.
that should probably be good enough. I think that's probably hidden enough. If he, I don't know, if he moves over, he could shred me, but hopefully we can get out of here after this. What? Oh, I see. Uh... Do we want to... Okay, so the question is, when is that guy going to move? He's been fast these past few turns. If he moves forward, he can, he's going to spot my guys and he can shred them real easy with those racks. So we're just going to withdraw. I was thinking about moving forward and trying to kill this guy. So we would have at least one full lance done. But... <sighs> yeah, let's just go now. Yeah, we gotta do it. Retreat. Let's get out. Yeah, I just don't think we're ready yet. There's just no way we could do that. Uh, we get one piece anyway, eh? Well, that mitigates something. Narc launcher. We didn't do two. I should take this and just sell it. <sighs> to make our money back. Wow. Uh, we lost a medium pulse, but that's no biggie. I could take another. We got. We've already got one LRM twenty, clan. Oh. Battle computer missile. Uh. That's, I think, what we need. Well, what I want. What we need is sea bills, unfortunately. But let's just take that. Okay, we got the LRM-20. Nice. We got two mech parts. Narc launcher. Yeah, could have been worse. All right. Yeah. 33 days for repairs. What? Not possible. Let's have a look here. Uh, Hellspawn we knew was going to be bad. Archer, really, eh? Just go like this. Let's get the... Wow. We're going to be through our next financial report, almost. Well, let's get this better here. Centurion. Hollander. Apollo. Hades. Do the hellspawn last because it's missing an arm. We can go without a hell. We can go without the hellspawn. I think. Then let's do this. For twelve days, perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's just buy the minimum to restore. Oh. Let's find some special discounts. Hey, morale increased by five. Beautiful. It's not going to help us with paying the bills, but uh, it's good that the morale's gone up. Uh, how many we got here? Three days left? Hellions out for three more. Uh, Alright, well, there we go. Let's just check our base to make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good. I don't think we've got uh, three or three parts of anything. Let's do lights here. Pretty sure we don't. Can ready a stiletto. It'll cost us 210, eh? Yeah, no thanks. Um... I think we got to go this way and then cancel, right? Yeah. Okay, what else? 
Herbie, Deputy Dog. Um, is there anything we can get going here? Besides the stiletto, 210,000? That's just crazy. I wonder how much we'll get back for that, though. So that's 210. If we go the other way... Oh, that's weird. This isn't compatible with... Interesting. STO6S. You can use that one part, but it can't, we can't go the other way, eh? Well, you know what? Let's ready this. We're going to spend the money. And then we're going to trash it. See what we can get out of it here. Um, okay, refit this guy. XL engine. Okay. Radical, ooh, radical heat sink kit. Nice. Medium X pulses. See what we'll get from this guy. Oh, Indo Steel, ultra light, engine core. Beautiful. Looks like we'll be able to make our... Uh, We'll be able to make our um, financial report this month. All right, let's just get rid of you. We made a little bit off of that. Uh, I'll worry about the store after this episode, but I just wanted to make sure we're going to have C bills to take another mission here. So let's go with, uh, sorry, command center. Command center, please and thank you. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, intelligence agent is against, uh, what is this? Raid the facility, get our operator out for safety, secure the data she was, that's gonna be too, yeah. Liberation is what? Using as a base of operations, terrorizing nearby settlements. Okay, destroy the base so they can no, no longer use it as a staging area. now. Hell spawn won't be back for 10. So there's not much we can do about that. So let's go ahead, jump in. Let's do this one. Going to be down one mech, but let's try it. I could be crazy here, but I think it's going to be one base. So Archer, our commando, or sorry, Centurion. Let's get you two guys in. Duck, you're going to have to sit this one out, buddy. Let's do this, guys. Oh, looks like we got some guys right on top of us. All right, what do we got? A Centurion here, it looks like. Turret. And a couple of guys up here for fodder. And we don't have anybody here with us. Nope, okay. Trebuchet, Hunchback 4J. And what is you? What is you? A warrior? Okay. Uh, we're not going to be able to hit these guys. Standing by. We're going to let them go first. I hate to do that, but we're better off using our... Uh, our drop uh, evasion here. Pirate garrison, pirate support lance, stru facility structures. Damage minimal. Well, that nothing. Stop saying things like that. Right Just gonna get us in trouble, you know that. Okay, they'll all go before, uh, except, for all, except for Hellion. Let's reserve you. Let's see what these guys do. Trebuchet and the helicopter. Once these guys move, we should be able to trash these guys pretty quickly, I think. Then they won't be able to see us from this base. Two mediums and a large building here. Two, I don't know where the other turrets are. The 8K, I think that's the, uh, isn't that the short range version? The two SRM6s and the uh, three medium lasers. So we got one, two, three, 
And where's that last turret? Is it in the base somewhere? I would have thought it would have been down here somewhere, but it could be... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You have orders? Yep. It's our turn to burn. See what our Trebs got here. What do we got here? A light carrier. Three missile, three energy, eh? Huh, interesting. Uh, let's better leave that off. I gotta have to keep my eye on that. Okay, not bad. Not as good as I would have liked, but can't have everything. Okay, your job is to get that warrior. Warrior, come out and play, yay. See ya. Is that a little overkill? Probably, huh? Enemy unit destroyed. Yes, come in. Oh, shoot. Oh, you got jump jets, though. Going airborne. <laughs> yeah. Um. This guy, well, maybe not. Oh, Crusader, nice. I could dead fire this guy, but I think better chances to hit are better. I, I don't even know. Better chances to hit are better? Oh, someone who shouldn't have been carrying incendiary ammo. He's a big pile of sludge. It would have been nice to have that uh, hell spawn here to go after this guy, but ah, he's moving now. Yeah, he's got LRMs. Good luck with that, buddy. So we had some comments about uh, my AMS systems. I do, I do had three AMS systems, a regular one and two, I guess, improved ones or whatever you want to call them. But uh, the reason why I haven't used them um, is because I've only have a half half ton of ammo like I don't have any ammo for it unfortunately let's leave the barrage off of this guy but we'll fire the rest of it yeah I only have a half ton of ammo now when we jumped here I was able to get a ton of ammo in the store so I do have some now so hopefully we can get an AMS onto something I much prefer the laser AMS's but I've yet to see one, so, or if I have, I obviously haven't uh, picked it up. Okay, I want to stay on this guy's flank. Oh, that works. That works. Let's show this guy why auto cannons are better. Didn't kill him, eh? Whoop. Someone's got some uh, thunder ammo. That's why I don't like jumping, man. You get unstable real quick. That was a calliope turret, eh? Can I see that turret? Oh, we got some guys moving up. Oh, there's the other turret. What is it? Heavy Calliope. Um. No, I want the I want the turret gone. Leave the tag on. Firing. All right, not bad. Okay, who do we got going next here? Dallas and Gundal. Yeah, shoot me. 
Shoot me. Um, yeah, no, let's get over. Here, thank you, thank you very much a multi on you and you put those on B this goes to B and yep nice yeah I think it was a good idea putting those uh, arm mounts on this mech for sure that was a major oversight on my part earlier all right let's do vigilance on you I want to sprint you. No problem. Get some evasion going and let's target this thing and get it out of here if we can. Solid connection on that one. Man, it's got a lot of hit points. Okay, we still got Dallas and Hellion, or sorry, Hellion. Yeah, we got, no, Dallas is already gone, sorry. Who do we have left? Hellion and what? And Goofy, right. What's the plan? Your plan, Stan, is to kill the man. Do you understand? Oh, not enough? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And Hellion should kill that turret, I think. Get the rack on that thing. What else we got back here? Another Hunchback? Cronus? Okay. We should have another mech back here somewhere. Crusader, I think, is 65 tons, right? Yeah. So they should have another mech. We got Clint. Cronus. Okay. Sacrificial lambs are gone. I tailing it. Yes, I am. Um, I'm gonna leave the rack wound up on this one. I want to see if we can kill this turret. Beautiful. I don't know if we jammed or not, but we'll find out next turn. We'll wind it down. Take it down to two rounds or something. Okay, Centurion. Right, that was the one we saw up in the hill. There we go. Nice. Yeah. That's good to know too. Goofy, shut the hell up, man. You're gonna get yourself killed. You know how you know how this shiz goes. You open your mouth, you die. Just enjoy staying alive. All right, let's hammer this guy. Yeah, these guys look like they're full strength. Let's get over in the flank. Gonna save that barrage. Where's the Centurion now? It's down in here, right? There it is. Yeah, I'll save the barrage until we get a group of guys firing. Okay. How might I help? Not the best place to be, but it is the place we're going to be going to. Because I want this guy badly. We're getting to overheat territory. Let's leave off one of the ER mediums. And firing. Is 
that a knockdown? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's on fire. Gun doll. Okay, Crusader can see you there. Let's just back up over here. Just gonna learn this guy. Um, sure. See what we get on it. Okay, got the torso. Alright, now we don't use the, need to use much of a rack on this one. So we're going to go for, let's go for this leg because he's lost his other one. Let's dial this down to one, maybe two, two probably. Do we get it? Destroyed his foot. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. You're tearing him a new one. Almost got him. Should be able to, boo, almost CT'd him too. Almost got it. Well, if we had dialed the rack up to three, we may have destroyed him, so... With a CT hit. I want to try and get that leg if we can. I mean, the salvage isn't that great off these guys, but... See what we can do. I want to try and maximize mech parts so that when the roll we get, hopefully we get some, uh, some uh, matching parts that we already have. The Crusader would be a nice addition though, so I think we're going to try and target its legs. i got to find out which turret's the Thermobaric one too. I bet you it's this one. Okay, that's from back in the corner. It's hard to tell where that's coming from. My heat gauge is all You're fine. Red. You're fine. Okay, maybe we need to avoid those rack twos though. Okay, so I think that was the rack two. This is probably the thermobaric and the missile ones back here probably. Maybe. I don't know. Why can't I OP this guy? Okay, if we do, whoops, this. Okay, oh, I see what they've done now. All right. See if we can get his leg firing. Wow, that was terrible. No idea what that is. Alright, we're going after this guy. Let's warm him up too. Let's go after this leg. Firing. Firing. Well, collateral damage takes that guy out. Both legs destroyed. Beautiful. That's alright. That's alright. Right. Let's stay spread out, guys. See what we can do here. Go after this leg again. Copy that, Commander. Okay, one hit. Yeah. Can you get out of the direct line of sight of the turrets, but get into the I guess not. Can you get around over here? That's uh we don't have. We gotta get our stability back. Let's come around here. Turret it is. Let's 
let's just go with the rack three shots should be good enough firing ah one hit oh ah, well not much we can really do okay uh gundel yeah. Good chance to hit, taking him. Nice. So we know we can kill that the next round. Oh, good. I think he's got an AC-20. 3A? Is it the AC-20 or 10? Don't know. I don't know. At least we're able to stay spread out this time. Okay, Cronus. Yeah, not too bad. So this guy is the LRM turret. And cluster rounds. Yeah, the, the guy in the back is the thermobaric one. Okay. All right. Come on. That's the sin. Where's the... There you are. You beautiful baby, you... Firing. Come on. Same thing. See if you can claim this guy's leg. How much have we got left? Not much. Oh geez, that's uh, pretty good chances to hit. Let's not overdo it. That should take the leg. Uh, destroy his whole body. Alright, well. Certainly unexpected, but whatever. We'll take it. Uh, it's Warlord you. Torit. Um, let's go this route and fire. Oh, not quite enough. That was a critical hit, that was. It sure was. Anywhere we can move where they're not getting a direct line of sight on us. Something like that. Okay, let's get you the hell out of there. Let's get back up here. I understand. Let's get our stability back. Let's target the Centurion. And, yep. Okay, get up here. I'm going to do a multi on this. Do it this way. Want to make sure we get that turret. Should be enough, yep. Should have used swarm on the second one, I think, but no big deal. It's harder to hit with swarm, too. Alright, see what they do here. Two mechs, two turrets left.
My only real concern is the Centurion's AC. Oh, he didn't move. That's bizarre. You have sealed your fate. Oh, it's an AC-10. No big deal. Damage Good thing we got that spa liner. Save a little bit of damage. You're going to need more than that if you want to <laughs> over, overheat me, buddy. Yes, Commander. All right, let's shoot up this Centurion. Firing. I like them apples. That's hit. Sure is. I understand. And back it up. Back it up. Uh, let's go Hellion first. Oh, can't see anybody, eh? You can now. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Shred him. Let's lay out the barrage down on these guys. Okay, we did hit the other guy, which is good. Can't do it that way. Here we go. Alright, let's finish it up. Let's... Uh, you know what? Let's multi. Go against you and you. B can take the barrage. And these guys. All right. Oof. He's overheating. Okay, get my stability back. Now, can we... we can't OP the head, huh? All right. Good to go. Piece of cake. We want that mech. This is the Thunderbolt emplacement. What do we got? 76? 76 on this guy? Ah, it doesn't matter which one. Urban mech emplacement, huh? Well, we might be able to kill the... Well, I don't know if we'll kill this guy. Can we get the dead fire on Yeah. Let's go after him. A lot of damage. Yeah, huge difference between uh, <laughs> taking a pirate mission and taking a mission against the clans. And I know there's a sliding scale. I have no idea what the sliding scale was in that last mission, but wow. Yeah, I think that's a rack two over there. Or who knows, a bunch of... Uh, oh. A bunch of, um, what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. Reporting. Those whatchamacallits. Alright, you kill that guy. Moving out. Finish him up. Good to go. Kill confirmed, Commander. Target eliminated. Okay, let's... Always going to be flames in the way no matter where we go, huh? We'll take the heat. Full throttle. Uh, I don't know which one's worse here. Thunderbolt. Let's fire on the Thunderbolt emplacement. Okay, not too bad. I'm listening. Thunderbolt emplacement, please. See if we can dial it to six. See how that does. 
Beautiful. One less turret, take it on. I'm receiving you. One less friggin' thing to overheat us. Move order received. Okay, this turret. Alright, one hit, not bad. Yeah. How far can you get on this guy? No problem. Almost out of LRM ammo, but we're still good here. You in dead fire range? You are. 52 though. It's like... It's roughly, if you... Mathematically, if you figure it out, these are doing 4 damage, but hitting 76% of the time. These are doing 6 damage, but hitting 52% of the time, which is like one third less. So we're doing about the same damage overall, because this damage is one third more. So I'm going to leave it on Artemis and just fire. Better chance to hit. Oh, beautiful. There you go. No sense in moving. Might as well target the big one. Oh, I didn't kill it? I can't do 200 damage? Really? Oh, additional pirate forces. Where are they? Back here, maybe? I don't know. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Okay, Hollander Badassery. Let's fire on this building. Confirmed. Okay, who's got their barrage left? Someone's got a barrage left. I have no idea where the enemy's coming from, so I'm just trying to get our guys relatively close together. You should be able to shred this building. Somebody's got a barrage. Who's got a barrage left? Was it you? Right here. Mm. No? Ah, it was you. I knew someone had a barrage left. Confirm. Now, you should just be able to use the barrage and that's it. Well, in theory. Good to go. There we go. Alright, where are the reinforcements? Up here? No. Yeah. Yep. Well, at least you'll be able to cool off a little bit. Where are the reinforcements? Uh, okay. Okay, not up there. Yes, Commander. I'll be there before you know. All right, where are they? I got a feeling they're over here. It would seem like that's where they would be coming from. Commander. Receiving. Huh. Where are they? Maybe up there? No, no sensors on. Yes, Commander. Copy that, Commander. Where are they? Right here. Mm -hmm. Affirmative. 
Okay, they're coming from the left, or right, I mean. Yep, there we go. Valiant, we gotta kill that guy fast. Alright, well, we know where they are now. Ooh. What's that thing? Bushwhacker. We haven't seen one of those in ages. We won't be able to target from. Oh, wait, we have some target from somewhere. Oh, there we go. Full yeah, we're not going to hit. Should we use the tag? Now nah, let's just fire the PPC. Oh, we did hit. What do you know? By. I got to stop opening my mouth. And fire. Okay, one hit. Beautiful. Be nice to get a bushwhacker out of this. Brigand. Okay, not so bad. They're what, 40 tons or something? It will be done. Okay, well, streak 15. Let's see if we hit. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. What if we should pick up some more uh, Artemis 4 ammo? Not liking the chance to hit right now we have with the... Uh, we gotta get you up here fast too. Uh, not liking the chances we have to hit with the... Uh, yeah, let's stay over here. Um, not liking the chance we have to hit with the swarm. Dead fire is still useful close in. Uh, we've been relaxed, so we might as well hammer them. Couple hits, nice. Nice. What else do they got back there? That's what I'm wondering. You sneaky bastard. Gonna need to apply more heat than that, dude. Ready for order. Swarm it is, I guess. Oof. Sure. Yeah, a little bit here and there. A little bit here and there. So once this Valiant moves up, we're going to rack it, take it down. I'm going to put some dead fire on his ass to smoke him. Bushwalker, I'm not worried about until it gets a little closer, but this uh, Valiant's got to go because that axe. Can we get into a position where we can shoot the Valiant from over here? wonder if we should just reserve. Probably. Okay, Hellion, you can get to the bush. You can get to the uh, Valiant, that is. Okay, he's in a weird kind of position. Let's let him come to us. Uh, yeah, let's use the barrage on him, too. We've only got eight rounds left, eh? Um... Go just four. Oh, uh, let's warlord this too. See if we can take him out. Okay, he's going down. Beautiful. Order. Can we get some? Uh, he's lying down now, so we can't get a direct. Oh, we can get a direct shot from here. 
Stay with the swarm, I guess? Dead fire's out of range, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, you're going to have a bad day. That is what you call overkill. You got that right. Let's just back up a little bit. Let's just go in the trees here. Mm, you can spot somebody for me. Actually, you know what? Let's just reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Can't see anybody anyway. Let's see what they do. There might only be two left. No, three left. At least a million nightmares out of commission. Yeah, he's got the MRM-30, I think. There you are, you bastard. What's the plan? Nope, let's get a solid red line. Here we go. Yes, Commander. Okay. Baraji, here we go. August! So I recorded this video the same day, well, 25th, obviously, uh, as I recorded my... Um, the uh, latest Horde Knight on uh, Seven Days to Die. Oh, we killed him. Tango down. Wow. That's impressive. Um, yeah, that was a friggin' Horde Knight and a half. It lasted all night long. The base held up super well. I was actually really, not really surprised, but pr pleasantly pleased with how well it, uh, it held up. They only managed to take down two doors, too, which is kind of nice. I had four of them set up, but they only managed to breed through two. Tons of irradiated zombies. Demolisher showed up. It was fun. If you guys uh, enjoy the Seven Days to Dies, Die series, uh, go check out that video. Alright, let's get this guy. Let's get this done. 25 tons. Ah, oh, Irby. You can have the Arrow 4 though. Can't see the brigand, but that's fine. Whatever. 39%, we'll take it. Cool. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? You can't even get up to see this guy, huh? Uh-huh. He's hidden pretty well. Let's get your uh, stability back. I don't know what he's got on him. Doesn't matter, he's running anyway. Yes, Commander. He's running anyway. Uh have no doubt it will be done. That's weird. He's like I thought it looks like he's totally in vision here. In visual range. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally! Sparagi him. Ow! Oh. oh, it looks like he's a melee mech too. Fire fist, eh? There we go. You got four rounds left. Let's use them. See ya. Beautiful. Alright, let's see what we can get out of this. Mission successful. Alright, good contract payment increase, 45%. Nice. That's uh, at least going to cover our damages, I think. Which I don't think was too bad. Alright, see what we got here. Lots of parts and lots of stuff. Only one Centurion part, two trebuchet parts, two bu oh, three Bushwhacker pirate parts. Ooh! I think that's probably the way to go. ER medium, flame breath. Pirate stuff. LRM 15 Delta. We got one of these. We don't have any of these. Thought we had one of these already. 
Um, oh, Delta Plus, that's why. Plus one recoil, though. Uh, medium X Pulse. We've got X Pulse. We've got Raker Pulses as well. We've got one already. Um, what can we put on this guy? Thunderbolt 10. Case 2 we already have. Endo Artemis 2. I think we, we still have an Artemis 3 and an Artemis 4, so we don't need that. Fire Control System Missile. No. Prototype Double Heat Sinks 2. I should really take this. I'm going to throw it in for now just to see if there's anything else down here. Should really not pass that up um, single heat sink cooling yeah I don't think we pass up those prototype double heat sinks that would be a big mistake I mean, there's nothing else here that's really screaming like it needs to be taken alright let's see what we get alright centurion part nice Cronus part ah, brigand part sellable anyway frame breath flame breath <laughs> Improve rockets, one ton. That's not bad. Fire control system missile, we got that. Ultralight gyro, AC5. Yeah, nothing amazing. Okay, 71,000, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. Let's manage our tasks real quick and then we'll go and have a look at the Bushwhacker. Let's bring the Hades, or the Hellspawn up first, and then the Hades. So it's 5, 8, 10, 12 days in total. So not bad. Half a month. We'll be 10 days into the next month, which isn't too bad at all, actually. Alright, so let's have a look at the Mech Bay here. I'm going to need to sell some stuff between episodes to make our financial report, but let's go into storage. And we're gonna grab the medium bushwhacker pirate. Let's ready this guy. That mech you wanted is back online. Stuff full of inferno weapons. There's even a smoker in the cockpit. Wonderful. Let's have a look here. If there's anything have like, like anything still good in this? Oh, it looks like there might be. XL engines already in there still. Ah, oh, not bad. It could have been a lot worse. That's a lot of rocket launchers in this thing. Heavy Flamer AOE. Like this guy's a flame bot unit. Like look at this thing. Machine guns, double heatsink kits already still installed. Yeah, good core. I mean, this is pr this is a good mech. I wonder if we take the Hollander out of service. That's a lot of missile hard points though on this thing. No laser hard points. Oh, it's got three, but where are they? One in the CT, and two in this arm. The problem with having all these rocket launchers is that it's like, you're li once you fire it, it's done, right? Smoky Special has three salvos. Okay, that's kind of cool. Are these all three salvos? then what? You fire your three salvos and then just kind of like nothing? This is like a toss up. Like, I don't know. We got Lerm 20s. We got a couple of clan LRM 20s, right? One on each shoulder. You should be able to double click these off. Oh, this is permanent? They're permanent. They're freaking permanent. <laughs> Christ. Are you serious? They're freaking permanent. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. They're just permanent. You can't even get rid of them. Oh. How much is it going to cost to get this thing up and running? I just want to... Okay. What? Oh, those are... Really? 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 I mean, we could do... something really crazy. We don't have the ammo for this, though, but... if we did... 
two LRM double. Oops, that's a regular uh, LRM double. It's 540. That's what? 40. That's uh, 13 and a bit turns of ammo. Swarm and Cinder. I wish we had fast cam. Thunder Augment. Like, it's like a half load, right? Tandem missiles. Like, we still got weight left. And we haven't even put in, like... Like, we could go f Pharaoh. Ah, oh, yeah, I should pull... I should put streaks on this guy and turn this guy into a close-range bot. Because then we could go... Sorry, I'm, I'm talking out loud again, but we could go with the Chameleon. Take these out, put streaks in. Like maybe we take, repurpose the Hellspawn for something else and we turn this guy into like close range streak bot, put some pulse lasers in the arm. Like the, the Lerm 20s are heavy, right? Five tons each, but the streaks I think are well, I think they're four and three streak six clan. I think are three tons. I'll have to play with that and see how it works out. But that's a possibility. We can put the uh, VC missile in here. We get a better cockpit in this guy. Or we could just go with Artemis three. Rather than putting the battle computer in. We need a target. We need a targeting computer. I don't think we have. I mean, we got the pirate one. That's no good. It's extended ranges. Interesting. Well, it gives us some options. Let's leave off the chameleon for now. Let's just repair it. We don't need the flamer in there. So we've taken off everything that we can take off. Take off, and we've maxed out the armor. What's the heat on these guys? Three, like nothing. Three, five, and what, eight? Seven. And nine. All right, let's get this guy running. That's just a crazy configuration, man. Like, we could pull, the, I mean, the health spawns fast. We could pull this guy out of service switch over his loadout to this guy, pull the streaks and the pulses off this guy and put it on this guy. That's a that's a good possibility. And then we've got the crab still in storage. We can once we get this all up and running, we can pull it forward. But we're gonna need C bills for all of this because it's just not gonna happen anytime soon. Let's pull this guy to the top. Let's get that back into play. Get the hell spawn fixed so we can strip it, pull stuff off and switch it around with the Hollander and remove the Hollander. Well, if we get the Hollander done in two days, let's do this, because then we can put that in storage. Right? Yeah, pirates don't like I say. Well, that's fine. Okay, two days. So let's go to the, uh, bays. Welcome to the grease pit, Commander. And I think we'll put this guy in storage. I mean, it really is, I mean, putting the weapons mounts onto the health spawn again with proper weapons. I mean, maybe we go with ER larges on the health spawn. I don't know. Okay, let's pull this guy out of service. We got to minimize our cost here, 1.5 already. So we're going to put this guy in storage, confirm this. And if we need to take uh, some lower end, um, some lower end missions while we're uh, waiting for our mechs here to get repaired. We'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> but I am going to end this holiday ep ep episode right now. Hope everybody has a safe and happy holiday. Hope for whatever um, whatever uh, religious uh, um, day you guys are honoring, whether it's you know Christmas Day or 
you guys are going through Hanukkah, Ramadan, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, I hope you guys have a great, safe, and happy holiday. Uh, please don't drink and drive. I know it kind of sounds like a parental thing to say, but I've worked for Mad Canada and I've edited so many victim stories about people who've, who've um, had horrible things happen to their family because of people who are drinking and driving. So uh, just please don't drink and drive, all right? Have a safe and happy holiday, and until next time, we'll see you later.